All right, guys, so uh, CarMax just called. They are 20 minutes away with the Tesla. Uh, in the meantime, the garage is cleaned up. Vacuum robots, and this one is different than our Robo, uh, Robo Rock that we had, so let me show you guys this. Um, this one actually comes with a, uh, an auto empty dustbin, which has so far worked. Uh, I haven't come into the garage and, and seen it just like randomly hanging out, uh, you know, caught up somewhere. The only part that I had some concerns with is uh, is over here. You know, I got a bunch of stuff back here, uh, but so far it seems to be handling things uh, okay. Um, and it is, of course, really nice to come into the garage and, and not see a bunch of you know little dust all over the place. Uh, I live in Arizona, so you know every time you open up a garage, uh, either little tiny you know flower petals will show up in the garage, or you know you get a bunch of dust. So. Uh, anyway, uh, I will catch back up with you in 20 minutes when the Tesla gets here. All right, so CarMax just dropped off the car. The um, you know the transition from me taking ownership of the car pretty easy, straightforward. Uh, I can't say the same for the uh, the time that I've been waiting, but that's okay. Um, you know, again, this is a 2021 model. This is actually a, an earlier build, 2021. Um, if you guys are familiar with uh, with Tesla. They make a lot of minor changes through each other, you know, from week to week, sometimes month to month, etc. Um, this one is a very early 2021 refresh, as you can see on the door sill. Uh, the newer ones, this white trim piece will actually extend through this, and then they change that white insert into a um, uh, an Alcantara insert. So. Um, I still have work, uh, still have a few few more hours of work, but uh, I'm gonna park this thing into the garage, and um, later on today we'll, we'll take a look at it. We'll get the mobile charger set up so that this thing is uh, is fully charged. But uh, pretty excited to, to get a uh, a performance version. The um, the first Tesla I bought was a 2019 Tesla Model 3 Standard Range, the mythical Standard Range, the one that uh, cost thirty five thousand dollars. I actually own one of those. And uh, it's pretty wild that I've upgraded all the way to a, a performance model. So, um, you know, really looking forward to uh, taking this thing out later. And, um, yeah, so uh, I'll also, you know, do a walk around with this thing out in the sun as well. You know, if you guys have, uh, have watched videos on Teslas, you've probably seen them a million times. Um, you know, this thing isn't drastically different. I'm not planning on doing any crazy mods on it. So uh, it's going to be mostly stock. Until I get the um, uh, until I get the Cybertruck. And now that I'm in here, I think the windows might actually be tinted as well, um, which is a bonus. I'll take a look at that once I get it into the garage. But uh, yeah, pretty exciting stuff. All right, guys. So I've taken the car out for its uh, its first drive. Um, car drives okay for now. Um, I I feel like there is some kind of uh, vibration on the left hand side. So. I'm gonna have to try and figure that out. Maybe it's just road noise. Um, I did find a few things throughout the car. Uh, number one, this thing actually has paint protection film on the front. Pretty nice surprise. Unfortunately, it also has a little chip in there, but that's okay. Uh, that's what the um, paint protection film is for. Uh, what else? The car came with tint, so I don't have to put any tint on. That's always a good thing. Save me about 800 bucks. I do need to tint the front windshield. There is no tint on that. Um, although I did find a few um, rock chips that need to get fixed up. That's pretty common out here uh, in Arizona, so I definitely need to get get that taken care of sooner rather than later. Um, what else? Also found that it has HomeLink, which is pretty nice. So HomeLink is a $300 option from Tesla. They actually started removing that from Tesla's, I think like two years ago. Uh, so that's a really nice surprise. I don't have to pay for that. Also, as you can see, the car came with floor mats, the, um, the cloth ones. And then they also included a set of original Tesla, like all weather mats, the ones that are made out of rubber. And then I got my own mats. So now I have three sets of mats. Uh, so now I have to figure out what the hell to do with the other mats. I'll probably end up keeping them. I don't know where I'm going to store them because I'm running out of space. Uh, I guess I need a bigger house already. Um, what else? What else? Uh, the other crappy thing is I can't uh, add this car to my Tesla profile yet. 
So CarMax has to tell Tesla that they are no longer the owners. And then, then I can add my car to Tesla, which might take three to, three to four days. Um, downside to that is I can't log into everything in the Tesla, which means I can't sign up for, uh, for Spotify. Um, tune in because all that requires the premium subscription service, which I think is actually still active. I should probably check that out. Um, if not, I'll have to sign up for that again. So uh, until then, I'm stuck listening to, to radio, which is kind of disappointing. Um, what else? I mean, the car looks pretty clean, man. Um, no complaints so far on the exterior. The exterior looks pretty good. Um, but, you know, for now, it's time to take all of this stuff. I can finally get it off the counter and, you know, basically start getting this car dialed in. Uh, I'll give you guys an update, I don't know, maybe a week from now or something like that once I've had a chance to, um, you know, do some good 0 to 60 times. Haven't done that yet. Um, but otherwise, yeah, so far I'm happy with, uh, with the car. I think the whole CarMax experience... Um, maybe we'll do that for a separate video uh, but otherwise I appreciate you guys watching my video see you take care